Income Tax 2020, Lacert Tax Software. Come in, relax with Income Tax 2020. We're going to go into a little bit more depth about the Lacert Tax Software, not because you need Lacert Tax Software for this course or because we're uh, promoting tax software. We're not promoting the Lacert Tax Software, but simply because when we refer to tax software in general, the tax software that we will be using is the Lacert Tax Software. So we want to give you an idea of what that is, and you can take a look at it uh, yourself, compare and contrast it to other tax softwares out there. Remember, there's a whole lot of different options for the tax softwares that are out there. And it depends if you're doing your own tax return or if you are doing tax returns for somebody else or doing tax returns professionally. If you're working at a firm, then you, you may not have control over the tax software if you're a firm. But you can basically break those tax softwares down into the two major categories, uh, the professional tax software and the individual tax software as we indicated in the past. When you're learning taxation, then you can do so without the tax software. There's a lot of tools that you can use in order to learn the, the uh, taxation in general. And then you're still gonna, if you do taxation professionally, then you still wanna learn the tax software as well. It's kind of another thing you gotta put on top and that you gotta learn because you gotta learn the data input related to whatever tax software you have. Now, if you're working on professional tax software, it'll often be similar because the data input will generally be more direct data input directly into the system directly into the tax return for the most part as opposed to and if you work with a lot of individual type of tax software such as a turbo tax or something like that then you'll be used to that interview process which is somewhat standardized given the that type of software so if you're using any type of individual type tax software they'll have a similar kind of in interview process any kind of professional tax software You'll typically have a straightforward kind of data input screen jumping right to the tax return or putting data input directly in without an interview process for the most part. Whether you're doing your own tax return or you're doing tax returns professionally, you probably do want to learn the tax software and use the tax software because the tax code has gotten to the degree of complexity that tax software is pretty much necessary. You can do the tax return without it. You can basically download the information from the IRS website or use the tools on the IRS website to prepare a tax return by doing the data input into the into the tax return itself into the fields of the tax return but that can be a lot more difficult to do and you kind of want the double check of the software the software doing the calculation and then verifying the calculation with both the viewing of the forms once you have an understanding of them and then i would work it again in like excel which is the formula is it gives you a good double check on that now here's the Lacert webpage, just so you can get an idea of what Lacert is. If you so choose, it's an it's a buy into it. The owners of QuickBooks, so you can research it and compare and contrast it to other uh, softwares out there. I'm not I'm not selling Lacert. I'm not affiliated in any way with Lacert. It's just the tax software that that I have experience with. Uh, notice that they also have the TurboTax in Intuit. So Intuit.com, you could find TurboTax, and they also own Lacert. So you can kind of compare and contrast a, uh, an individual type of tax return software to the uh, tax software that's geared towards like uh, CPA firms. So if we go on back over to the Lacert tax software, they do have the free trial here and that could be a useful tool. You might want to try the free trial out and work through the, this course with it and put some of the practice problems into the free trial version. In fact, I would recommend doing that. That would be a great tool to, to do. So if you go down down to the, let's take a look at the pricing options of Lacert just so you can get an idea on the pricing options. So they got their different tiers here. They got the Lacert 200 Federal 1040, a comprehensive collection of form sets uh, best suited for preparing fewer than 200 individual tax returns. We got the Lacert Ultimate uh, models, the same features as 200 Federal 1040 plus unlimited individual and business return, and then the Lacert Rep. So you got the different tiers depending on how many tax returns you plan on, on preparing. Also note that when you're looking at the tax software, you typically want to think about what your state needs are as well and make sure that you're picking up the tax software that, that includes your state needs. When you're looking things up on the IRS website or filling things out on the IRS website, sometimes they, have a, they do have a free tax software and sometimes it has state information in it as well. But just remember, when you're looking at the IRS website in general, you're looking at the Fed side of things, which is what we will concentrate in on here as well. But when you have the tax software, you probably want to you want to make sure that it's picking up all your taxation needs, including any state taxation needs that you may have as well. The cert typically uh, will be will have you covered on that. And then and then you can go through the uh, the TurboTax 
uh, over here and just give it get an idea of comparing and contrasting something like a like a TurboTax to uh, Lucert. So I'll let you explore that more as you go. When we jump over to the tax software, uh, we will typically be uh, practicing with the Lucert. And again, if you if you if you can get that free trial for free and want to work work along with some of the practice problems, it might be worth the time to do so.